everybody. It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And we all done seen Mana Duke from O Block interview. I thought it was dope. You know, he spoke on his music career, spoke on things, you know, as far as his name, kind of clearing some things up with him. He didn't really speak on a lot of street stuff. Not a lot of stuff that, you know, a Chicago interviewer probably would have asked. And I thought that was dope. I thought it was a breath of fresh air, that type of interview. But it's things that stood out in the interview that people been asking me about. They say, Truth, Muwap called during the interview. And, you know, Muwap, we all know who that is. Old block guy, rapper, linked to Lil Dirt, close to King Von. Was actually the guy that put the knuckles on Quando Rondo um, when all that shit happened with Von. You know, he called during the interview. It was a quick, quick, maybe 10, 15 second part at the end of it where he came in. You can clearly tell Muwap not an interview type dude. He didn't really want to speak. Uh, he not an on camera type of guy. That's why I found it surprising. He really jumped into this rap game and kind of blew up. The fans just felt his credibility through that music. But he did call. He did not want to speak. You can see Mana Duke trying to convince him to say say something. You know, this your boy Muwab, or you know, I'm doing good and shit. But Muwab didn't find that, in my opinion, funny. He didn't want to speak. I guess he got a lot on his mind. This is real life. You know, he facing a real case. This type of case, I am gone for the rest of his life, if not 20, 30, 40 years. He not facing a regular case with police officers and just regular court cases. This is the FBI. This is the feds, you know. They got a high conviction rate. We seen C. Murder speaking lately. He was in good spirits. His spirits was up. I even had an opportunity to speak to C. Thing. His spirits was up. But in the interview with Mubop, you can tell he wasn't the happiest in the world. Now, I don't want to put too much to it get to seeing more than it is because maybe he was eating food or he wanted to get off the phone who knows but you know he just seemed like he went for that interview shit and i can tell you know i had an opportunity to speak with move up um i asked him for an interview this actually before he got locked up for the duck case i asked him let's do an interview and at that time he wasn't really doing interviews he let me know he never did an interview and one of his first interviews was gonna cost that big you know so we weren't able to put it together because the booking fee was just too high you know truth don't got no problem with breaking bread with somebody but the booking fee was too high at the time uh, but I thought he was a dope artist on the climb. But you can clearly tell Muwap ain't one of the guys that really like to talk on the internet, in my opinion. But I thought it was a dope interview, man. I want to say that. But a lot of people don't realize those guys, you know, those five guys that led to duck death, you know, they're going through something serious. This is not a joke. They are not facing two, three years. These guys are facing football numbers, you know. So keep that in mind. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie truth.